all right everybody how y'all doing and welcome back to my channel that's what you see here is the dell optiplex 390 this is your 1155 um socket it is on the intel i3 2120 two cores four threads at 3.3 gigahertz um memory size in here is eight gigabyte uh two four gigabyte sticks it has a 160 hard drive which is very slow uh, it could be a 1.5 or a SATA 2.0, but I know the SATA 2.0 is run faster than the raw 0.5. But she's going to be getting an upgrade. Now, what I'm upgrading her to is the Team Group SX2 512GB. The Team Group SX2 512GB. I have this hard drive in my, um, my gaming rig. As well as my entertainment rig in the room. And I am using the SP Silicon Power in the majority of my rigs, in my um, editing rig, etc. The main hard drives I use are Team Group, Silicon Power, and Seagate. Okay, I will be swapping that uh, Western Digital 160 Gigabyte with the SSD. As you see right here, to give it more speed, more stability, fast boot, etc. Your application can move fast. Um, boot time will be up there. I will be taking that Western Digital 160 and using that as storage. The memory I am upgrading it to is the Crucial 4 gigs. Yes, I'm putting it on 4 gigabytes. That's 2. 4 gigabyte stick which gives a total of 8 gigabyte at DDR3 1333 megahertz because that's what this PC support is speed of the RAM. Uh, I'll be putting those two sticks in and it should not be no issue. Only thing that I am swapping out next is the CPU which is going on the i5-2500. The i5-2500 CPU, 4 cores, 4 threads at 3.3 gigahertz. I'm stepping up the cores so I can match better performance. Just like I said, on my entertainment rig and living room, I'm on the um, Q9550, 4 cores, 4 thread. It runs smooth. Good boot. Good cores per handling applications and stuff. So it would not be an issue. Now, I'm excited to be upgrading the system. I'm very excited and my friend's wife should be excited too. She when she's home, working at home, she can work on this. Now some of y'all sit down say around wrong, why you didn't recognize a fifteen hundred to eighteen hundred gaming rig for that? She don't need that. But one thing about my friend's wife is that she said it's strictly clear. I am not into all that nonsense that other PC users use. So if your system still work good, and if your um, and you still on one of these here, um, Dell Optiplex 390, you can use Windows 10 on it. On the system, it says you can't. This is running Windows 10. All the um, USB ports in the back works. You just have to update your buys by going to Dell um, website and putting in the service tag that is located on the system some of y'all peel them off and then y'all have to sit down here and go into the buyers as y'all boot up here in the f12 so enough talking let's go ahead on with these upgrades <laughs>
All right, everybody, this is the moment of truth. Will she post after the upgrades? Let's find out. Let's find out and see. All right, power's on. And yes, she posted. I'm going into the buy on the boot option. All righty. F1. Going to the BIOS. Going to system information. And yes, she is up and running. As you see, the processor Intel i5 2500 at 3.3 gigahertz. Core count is four. Now on the i3 2120, the core count was two. The current clock speed is at 3.3 gigahertz. Minimum clock speed is at 1.6 gigahertz. Maximum clock speed is at 3.3 gigahertz. The RAM is at 8 gigabytes at speed 113.33. Now, gamers, keep in mind my wife's, my friend's wife's is working at home. She's not playing video games. And this is where I make clear that we have to separate the two office clerical, gaming. Now, I know everything has updated, so everybody game, live stream, etc. on hardcore systems that we cannot afford no more. So, to the people, listen up. If you're still on the Optiplex 390, you can make upgrades to it. Pull up the information on the Optiplex 390 LGA 1155. It's on the second gen CPU. Now, if you want to go to a four core eight thread, that'll be the i7. I think it's 2700 or the 2850, one of the two. But that's the only processors I could fit on here is the second gen processors only i3, i5, i7. So, enough said. All I have to do now is put on Windows 10. Yes, you can put Windows 10 on it. There are multiple videos to put Windows 10 on it, but you got to make sure your BIOS version is updated. I think the main BIOS version for this PC was at A04 or updated to 2809. I will make sure once I go ahead and put Windows 10 on it, is there more BIOS update for this system here? I will go ahead on and do that. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and install Windows 10. And trust me, everybody, I'm not going to go ahead and do an installation of Windows 10. Y'all know how to put it on. 
y'all if you don't know how to put it on i will put a video link in the description below to let's show you how to install windows 10 on a flash drive or windows 8 or windows 7 whatever os you prefer now if you like the new gear you like your all, all your um your programs to be updated they need to be on the new and latest operating system is which is windows 10 and windows 11 but make sure that you are on new gear to install windows 11 all right i'm gonna go ahead and close this video i want to thank y'all for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace